All right, what do we got going on here? Ken Carson had something else to say about a particular someone, or maybe y'all are gonna sit here and say like, why are you instigating beef and everything? No, everything has a purpose in my opinion. I think the world is random, but but like people don't just post on social media. They're, they're gonna be thinking about someone, okay? There's no other reason why you would post this where Ken Carson, went on Snapchat and reposted one of those infamous memes that Playboy Cardi, it's not even a meme, I guess it is a meme now, but uh, something Playboy Cardi posted around Christmas time when I don't know who he was talking about. I think it was about Benji. People thought it was about Uzi, but now Ken Carson is posting it. And actually this is the second time, okay? Normally I'd be like, you know what? Maybe he's just doing it, telling all the other rappers, stop dropping BS music. But he reposted this young thug tweet from way back in the day. Look, it says 2016. Said, boy, slow down dropping all that BS music. Now, at first, a lot of people thought he was talking about Yeet because Yeet just dropped 2093. And not only that, he dropped phase two, then he dropped phase three with like another four tracks on it. And phase two had two tracks, one of them with Drake. Although Yeet and Ken, I feel like, you know, they respect each other, I would think, because honestly, Yeet is pushing bigger numbers than him. Now, without the features, because Ken did like 45K or whatever it was with the Great Chaos. So maybe there's something to be said, because only he had like Uzi feature and Destroy Lonely, whereas Yeet had Drake and among others. So like, will they be competing? in the higher ups like 100k or some later down the road when they're fully developed as artists that's a whole nother question that will be down the road like next year year after that but regardless it wasn't just about yeet i don't think i don't think it was about yeet at all i think he might be talking about osama son now i know that he said before that you know he had no beef with osama son because people thought he was uh trying to blackball him because i think it was there was a group chat where allegedly ken carson told all of his producers and this is all just hearsay from another artist i'm not going to name them because i don't want to involve them in anything but it was like ken carson didn't want osama son rapping on his type of beats because there's a particular person osama son that i said earlier who a lot of people say kind of bit off of his style and aesthetic and i definitely think there is some influence there although that's just the name of the game, to be honest. You gotta like bite off other people. You gotta climb the ladder of clout because we've talked about before, there's only a finite amount of fans. And so you gotta steal them from somewhere. So it might as well be from some of the hottest artists in the game, Cardi, Ken Carson, Opium, you know, runs the whole underground at this point. But with this being said, this is not the first time that he said it. I believe that he posted on his Snapchat or somewhere last time osama son dropped two and then this past week in addition to yeet dropping osama son dropped the flextra and it also had like the grungy type beats that some people would say sounds like a great chaos although i feel like osama son definitely takes it to a whole nother level increases the distortion to past the point where you can even hear words you're just hearing noises like your xxs tentacion manipulating like the hertz or whatever that science of sonic sound whatever whatever it is but yeah in my opinion he is he's throwing shade a little bit or he just you know this is a this is a competitive sport rap so he's just talking shit being like boy stop dropping all that music because he dropped succubus just now this morning so that's personally who i think he's talking about but let's see what the people in the replies are saying yep zion he said osama son too Posted shortly after Osama bro, bro, dropped both times. Only do a dropping right now is Yeet. That's not true. Osama son. And again, I don't know if he wants beef with Yeet. Although I feel like the Opium Coalition is stronger than Yeet right now, just because they've got like multiple artists. You don't, you don't even want to touch the Opium people. If you beef with them, like the Cardi detectives, the Cardi community on Twitter is gonna destroy you. Um, yeah, I think he's talking about Osama son. But he does love sneak dissing all the time and then he comes back he's like yo i ain't post that <laughs> it was someone else they hacked my snapchat bro but what i don't understand when rappers are saying all this or sorry posting tweets so they're technically not even saying anything is like yeah you might be mad that someone else is jacking your swag but at the same time when you respond like it almost increases their level of clout or influence 
or just streams because now they have something to use as leverage for a promo people are talking about it like why is ken carson worried about what osama son or any of these other artists are doing because there's an age-old saying i'm gonna butcher it but it's like people are only responding when they feel threatened you know so i don't know what if ken carson needs to be because if osama son's kind of on his he's like a derivative of ken carson type music i'm not saying that he can't surpass although you know ken carson i feel like is a little bit more mainstream type music osama son i do think has great songs but maybe this also helps ken carson because again it's like a it's like a pr stunt where he starts talking online and osama son is relevant right now so it'll get more attention and it did for succubus to drop today the music video to get more views although i think it would get the same amount to be honest so i feel like that's not even a thing like ken carson already got the clout he doesn't need to punch down necessarily yeah he just needs to stop responding in my opinion but yeah i believe personally he was talking about osama son but y'all let me know in the chat but i feel like the ties have turned on osama son like the underground messes with him so there's no point in beefing because normally if you're punching down and you like clown another rapper who's upcoming everyone will just start like dick riding ken carson or like the bigger rapper however i feel like osama son's gotten to a point where then now if anyone talks about him they're like bro just leave him alone he's got a movement of his own kind of so why are you trying to ruin that or like why are you beefing for no reason when osama son's not sitting there like dissing him at all so it's like a one-sided game at the same time though isn't Netspin? I'm not gonna say he's opium, but like he's, you know, working with Joy Division on a music video. I think he's managed by John Ross, like people who are cool with opium somewhat at least. I'm not saying, again, he's not signed whatsoever, but if Netspin's kind of cool with Joy Division, who is opium, it must be very awkward since Netspin chills with Osama Sun, or at least they've done a lot of music videos together or been in the studio together, I mean. So, there's a, this is a weird tension. That's why I always say that this this music shit is so fake because everyone's just toying with the fans online. Like you don't really know what's going on behind the scenes uh, because for all we know, Osama Sun and Ken Carson could be giggling in the corner, like tweeting at each other. Meanwhile, they're like, yeah, we're just going up off this shit. But again, I don't know if Ken Carson has anything to gain from posting this other than maybe re maintaining relevance and uh letting everybody know like he started that wave of like the grungy rap so maybe that's what he's doing it's for the notoriety it's not for the clout like the ownership of the sound but again y'all let me know in the comments who you think ken carson's talking about i think it's osama son i don't think it's yeet they've worked in the past i think ken carson respects yeet and the type of music that he makes and he made something a lot different with 2093 on this last album so can't really say he's biting or anything like that he did drop a lot of music much more music than osama son though still think it's osama son